All right. So I wrote this one for my bandmates. So hopefully you guys like it. It's a short one. So, yo, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. And I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, 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 really ramble cast. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Woo. That's one direction, right? It's yeah, the best I one yet. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, what am I? Am I sporty spice? Right? You're ginger uh-huh. spice. You're scary spice, right, Matt? I don't know how I got to be scary spice, but yeah. Maybe you're, you're, uh, uh, I don't posh. know what you are. Posh. posh, that's right. And then Jay, Jay's <laughs> baby. Jay's baby. <laughs> He's old. I act like a big baby. Thank, thank you for the listeners for um, coming up with those those wonderful names. We hashed it out. I think you weren't even there for that one, were you? Mm-mm. Nick, yeah. here we're going. No. I just saw someone, I saw, I saw someone. Yeah, I saw someone on the on the message boards post. You know, Nick's ginger. I'm like, how the fuck did I get ginger? <laughs> you know, and then I was like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, welcome to the Ramble Cast. It's it's good seeing everybody back again. All four of us here for the first back. time in weeks. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, feels weird. It's been a crazy it? few weeks, man. It's been a crazy week. I think it's what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday? Oh, I've, I've, had, I've, I've had an inch. I, well, I had an inch. Which can I just get off the bat? What what happened to me? Go. This morning? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So I'm watching my grand. I'm watching my granddaughter like I And we're in here. We're in the zoo. She likes to feed the fish. A lot of fish. Fish food. And she likes to grab all the stuff. She likes to put. Luckily, I don't wear these. But she put play doh on my my headphones. And now they got. It's all stuck. Anyway, she's. She's like to vet. She's very creative. She likes to do things and uh, and stuff like that. So all of a sudden, I hear this screaming, and I, I hear the screaming outside our house because we have windows open because it's actually cooled off for the first time in in what four months. And I go, "What the hell is that?" So I go in the, and I, there's two cars. Once this park district, where it's still a dead end, the street hasn't been completed yet, and they're like screaming at each other. So I go, what the hell? I mean, they're like cussing and swearing. I can't tell if it's two guys, two girls, a guy and a girl. I, I, I they're in each other. They're in their each other's car. I mean, they're in their own car. And so I go. So I did what every you know citizen should do. You know, what a responsible citizen should do. I went and got my phone and filmed it because I figured, okay, this is this is going to be great. <laughs> but but thirty seconds into, I said, I better call the cops because. He's, he's saying, now I know it's a man and a woman. He's going, mm-hmm. I'm going to kick your fucking ass. Da, da, da. I go, whoa. Lisa. So I'm just about ready to call the cops. And she said something. I, it must have been a couple that been fighting over custody, something like that. Because oh. why would you let her teach? I, I won't go into what she was saying, but she was, you know, why would you let her teach my child, blah, blah, blah. And she was going on and on and on and on. And then they drove away. I go, okay. I, just, I didn't get a license plate. So I, you know. But then they came back, so I, I, I get, I'm just ready to call nine one one, and they both turned around and went back up the street again. So I don't, I don't so, know what happened. So uh, just to, to to kind of piggyback on your story, Jack, because this this was my was something that similar happened to me over the weekend. It's it's about twelve thirty. Uh, no, yeah, I think it was about twelve thirty. I couldn't sleep. It was like a Saturday night or something like that. Um, maybe it was Sunday night. I can't remember, but I'm downstairs in my basement watching some TV and I hear this woman just like, you know, I don't understand you. Why you can't, blah, blah, and, you know, and, and going on. And I was like, huh, okay. And I guess she's arguing with her boyfriend. And then I may have heard the man like, like, you know, the maybe, man. Maybe, I think I just, I think I just heard her first. I didn't think anything of it. And then about a half an hour later, and mind you, I'm in my basement, which I have windows, but um, but still, it's like I hear him going like, fuck you, bitch, blah, 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 you know, and he's just going off on her. And this is 1230 and at night? 1230 at night. And so, you know, I'm like, so so the so the first incident happened at 1230. The, the follow up happened at about 1 a.m. So at that point, I was like, OK, this is still going on. So I um, I go up to our, our sunroom and, and it's kind of like got these, these uh, curtains closed. So I can kind of, kind of peer out the guy is parked, not even parked. I mean, well, yeah, he's parked in the, the, the street lights on truck still running They're They've been arguing like this for, I don't know how long, just 
cussing back and forth, blah, 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 blah you know. Who and, has to wake uh, up the next day, you know? And at this point, I'm just like, all right. Uh, I, I skipped the videotaping because it's at night. And I just went straight to the, I'm calling the cops. Non-emergency, you know, I'm like, you know, I get through 911 or whatever. I'm like, this is non, non-emergency. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm basically like, hey, there's this domestic dispute going on. And, and uh, you know, and the cop event, you know, does show up not not too long after I called, you know, maybe 10 minutes or whatever. He shows up. They're still arguing at this point. She's, you know, like on the side of the street and he's he's parked the vehicle now. So he's not in the middle of the road, but they're still arguing like just cats and dogs. And a uh, cop comes up and, you know, and, and trying to break them up. And, you know, what is this relationship and all of this stuff? And she's like, you know, I didn't even call you people. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, well, you know what? All of the rest of us are having to put up with your bullshit, you know, at like 1 a.m. Well, if I was a cop, I said, maybe it was one of your neighbors that's trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, I think the cop was basically trying to not put blame on on anybody so that they, they didn't think that, like, come back at us. And uh, which is, you know, they're thinking, you know, I saw a light in that basement. (laughs) Well, actually, my lights weren't on. So um, but at any rate, it was resolved. And like the the sad part was, is that at the end of it, she goes back with him and the cops just like frustrated because he's trying to protect her. And that was my concern. But um, my wife and I believe that there's something else going kind of on with that house. Like there may be some hooking in some drugs. Um, So this isn't the first incident that we've witnessed. That's a little like out of the ordinary and uh, she probably owes him money or something. So um, awful situation considering our block is a, is a fairly nice, nice um, area, but still it's just like, seriously, like, you know, um, get your shit together and don't, don't argue in the street like that. Like, or yeah, like the, um, you know, it, I don't know. It was just kind of random, like, like you know, uh, Jack. I mean, the fact that you would bring this up, and it's like, yeah, it was holy I, shit. Like, I think it's just the times. I, th- I think so, people are just so stressed out, and they're just everyone's so angry. You know, I just but yeah. I, I was like, I, but this is this is the second time because last time it happened, one of our neighbors. I didn't. We saw the cars. It could have been different people, but about six months ago, this something like that happened, and our neighbors called the police because they saw a gun. I didn't see the gun, but we were, we were all our, fa- everyone was here. We were doing some kind of family get together. And we go, what is that? Yeah. And they're driving in the grass. It's just like crazy. And then they scream at each other. And, and but our neighbor said she saw a gun. So she called the cops on them. I go, I don't know if it, it kind of looked like the same cars, but I'm, I'm like, this is crazy. Hey. Hey, that, I mean, that was that was something that went through my head at one point. I was like, at what point does this escalate and a gun goes off? And, you know, I'm just worried about, you know, my kids and, and their safety and just any, you know, a stray bullet, you know, goes through the house. Like, you know, yeah. any one of my neighbors could be affected by this. And I don't know. I don't know these people from anybody, you know, but if you're going to cause a ruckus like this, you know, it's like get on with it and go, go somewhere else. But sad that she had to go back with him and like decide like that this was the answer was to hop in the truck with this guy. So it's unfortunate because you can't, because I know years ago, uh, the rink, this girl came flying into the rink saying, he's beat me up. He's beat me up. He's beat me up. And then the guy comes running in and we all stopped him and said, no, 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 you're not going after her. And he's trying to, and luckily, he was a pretty big guy, but there was enough of us. And plus, we had, yeah, I saw that. We had a guy that was like six foot four, six foot five, one of the parents. And he literally grabbed the guy and almost picked him and said, You're going to leave. <laughs> and huh. we got him to drive away. But she said, I got to go back. I got to go back to him. Like, no, no. We called the police and everything. And we're trying to say, No, don't go. You don't have to go back. Right. He's okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to drive. I'm just going to drive somewhere else. We go, no, wait, talk to the police. She, she got in the car. She drove the same direction he did. So she went back to him. But it was, what well, you can't force somebody to, you know, it's just, I'm not living in her shoes. I don't know what the deal is. But, yeah, it was, it's just, it's frustrating because we all wanted to beat the shit out of the guy. But now, How do you know that, like, she could have robbed the guy and then, like, run through the, the arena just going, he's beating me. And next thing you know, you, you cold clock this guy who's just probably trying to get his wallet back. Could have been anything. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, it's you know, of course, you gotta... Nick takes the side. Of the <laughs> I just, I'm just like, I'm saying, I'm saying, it would be a, 
it would be a smart strategy by someone who's just robbed somebody well, though it's to do true, that. It's it's been a while since I've actually got to hit somebody. Oh, okay. It, would, it probably would have felt good because you should hang out I, with Chris more. I, I, I yeah, I, I know. I, <laughs> actually, I'd be the old guy they beat up. <laughs> hey guys, have we actually tried to talk to COVID? Like maybe COVID is good for us. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, maybe the COVID is it's just floating around. It's not it's not asking to affect in, 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 you know. It just wants to be our friend. It wants to fill our lungs with love. Yeah, or or doesn't want to support it just it's just doing its own thing. It's us that it's is sucking it in. Own. We're like <gasps> and we're sucking the COVID in. Yeah, I, yeah, I think Nick's on to something. We're blaming COVID, and it's our fault. By the way, I just put that in in Nick's mouth. I didn't really. Say that. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> you see, I saw on Twitter day there was like twenty people running through a Target, I guess in Florida. Oh yeah, yeah. Anti mask people. Yeah, I go oh, hard eye roll. Again, if you don't want to wear your mask, just stay away from people. Don't be a dick about it. Yeah, God, it, just, it just irritates me. It just it's just so frustrating. I, my students now have gotten to the point where they're like, okay, I can just take it down for a little bit. You know, it's just like, well, go outside, go someplace. Like you're, you're in a, in a closed proximity of other people. Like if you need a mask break, I don't care. Like leave the room, go have a mask break. But don't well, we're becoming stuff. complacent, so again, you know, because yeah. the numbers are sl- slowly coming down. So everyone goes, okay. Well, I, I thought we were going up last I heard nationwide. Nationwide is they, they will be they will well they will be going up I, after I, Labor I read, Day. I read the opposite. You saw Labor Day it was a cluster fuck. I'm like, what? Yeah. yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Well, I'm, I had my mask on. That's all I got to say. Um, yeah, I, I was in a hardware store the other day and somebody had a Jaws mask. You know, it's like Jaws, like kind of oh, cool. You. So, um, unlike my background here, so. Oh, I almost bought job. one the other day. It was uh, it was Ron Burgundy's face. That'd be cool. The mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Thought about getting it, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I did buy a weed bag though. Just a bag of weed. A bag of weed. My weed bag. You just carrying it around like a, Is it like a like a, like so, a donor like a donor cooler? Here, here, here's here's the impetus behind said purchase. Impetus. Um, so my daughter started playing Roblox. You, you used a big word there, Chris. Uh, Jack didn't Impetus. understand it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I understand the other one. <laughs> so my, my daughter started playing Roblox. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Roblox or not. Nope. No. Um, no. It's, it's, it's a stupid fucking game that kids love. And is, is it like Pong? No, it's kind of like a... Oh. <laughs> I don't know, like The Sims meets Minecraft, I guess you could say. Oh, so, I, never played uh, so she's in my office now when I'm not home. So oh, uh, sure. Well, yeah. Real quick, I ordered myself a uh, combination locked, smell proof bag. Hmm. And it's actually pretty cool. So, I mean, I might as well demonstrate it by uh, <laughs> sampling some of the goods. But. <laughs> Did you bring something for everyone? Ooh, it's wow, my smell proof little organization. I can keep all my stuff in here and my kids it's can't get at it. Fair. I know. It's just, come on to, it's come on to civilization, man. Well, they're, they're saying that it, it's on the docket for try, they're trying to remove federal restrictions from it, I think. But they should. I'm just going to put, like, if I'm ever on a flight with you, I'm just going to put, like, dog biscuits in some of the other pockets of your suitcase, you know, like. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't fly with weed. That's just not a good idea. Oh, well, what's the point of having the bag then? <laughs> oh, so my I... daughter can't get into it. Oh, well, I, was, oh okay. I, I, I was I was able to get it from California to here. Yeah, I wouldn't I just, advise it. I just put it in like stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I took them out and put them back in, sealed it up, and I put it in the candy. Okay, pull oh. up your pants now. Now that you've shown everybody where you stuck it, pull up your pants, Jack. It's like Midnight I Express. People no, that no, that listening to the audio we put, it, we put it in the luggage. We didn't take it on the plane with us. We actually right. He checked it, yeah. And I'm, dri- I'm dripping. I just, it's rolling. Sweats is rolling down me. You all right, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine once I get in Raleigh. <laughs> I'm not guilty of anything. They're fantastic. Oh, the fatty. 
My wife wanted to take more. I said, "Are you kidding? We're, we're lucky we're taking what we we can." So they, they, this stuff stinks, obviously. As you may know, knows you got who has weed. It, it smells. So this bag is specifically like it's lined with like all these like like charcoal filters all around the inside of it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like a smell proof bag too, which is great. Hmm. And you can always um, take that charcoal out and draw with it. Exactly. Uh, like sure. poop. If you get real creative after a uh, yeah, a little bit of a sesh. Hey um, man, I'm feeling the creative powers. But it's great. So can, now that now that she's in here, I don't have to worry about it because it doesn't smell and she can't get access to it. So. Now can she like take it up? Yeah, like get a screwdriver and pry it open. Something like that. I mean, sure. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a, it's a, it's like a it's like luggage like a luggage lock, it's like a zipper. Because I can see, I can see my granddaughter getting out a screwdriver and popping that. Yeah, you, you got like a little lock on, or you got a combo. What do you got? Yeah, it's a combo lock. So it's one, a three-digit combo lock. One, two, three. No, four twenty. What's four twenty, Dan? But it's cool, man. Like it, it was, it was, it was Hashtag. my purchase of the week. My small purchase of the week was this guy here. My big purchase of the week that was ninety um, percent completed. My Replacing the, all the windows in my house began Whoa. yesterday. Oh, yeah. you, doing it you hired you hired someone to do it. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Um, no, I hired I hired a couple of guys. So I, I got like the the best dudes in, in in the business to do it for me, right? So I, it was a recommendation from a friend, which is always the way you want to do when you're trying trying to find a contractor. You want to find someone who can re- who can recommend. Um, so. My my buddy had his windows done. He recommended these guys, two guys, and I had them come over. They're retired like window installers from like they they've been doing it for years. From like the fifties. What's that? From like the fifties? No, I mean yeah. they're in their fifties, maybe sixties. Yeah. No, they're in their sixties because they're, they're he's retired. The sixties, yeah, mid sixties. Well, make sure your um, friends don't come over. What? Make sure your friends don't come over. They're in their sixties. I don't want. Yeah, I don't want one of those window guys getting punched in the face. Oh God. Okay. So, <laughs> anyways, I thought he was talking about COVID, but he's just talking about. Yeah. Um, so I, I, he recommended these COVID, guys come over, and they, these guys are retired. They're, they're no bullshit. They're not trying to like make millions. They're just sitting here, you know, keeping the company busy. And he was like, he's like, honestly, he's like, we do this for mad money. He's like, you know, he's, uh, my my second wife is really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> he's like my second wife's is, really expensive. Is he, is he still paying on the first one? Yeah, still paying on the first one too. And he's like, he goes, and this honestly, this gets me out of the house for two to three days a week. I get a couple bucks in my pocket. It's great. Sounds so like he, he's a third wife. You, you know. know? Like, so he, he, but the thing is, though, like he's he's charging literally like thirty percent of what like your big man, your you know your big window manufacturer distributors would would charge. So they're only charging three fifty a window installed, wow, which is insane. That's, that's, that's material and labor. Yeah. Oh wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. So I I, I got um, I think like twenty seven windows done. Something crazy. Like twenty yeah twenty seven windows, and uh, I'm getting a, a new slider, which is that part was delayed unfortunately. So I'm getting a new slider no. glass door for the back of the house. Hey, um, we're getting a sliding glass door for the back of our house too. Nice, dude. Yeah, we just um, ordered one this weekend. What brand? So, uh, Anderson. Yeah, yeah, Anderson's nice. One twenty. We were lo- we were looking at a couple different ones, and we were basically we just wanted something we didn't have to replace in five years, you know, or yeah. one that was going to like come off the track. So, so. we got uh, these guys. Use they don't. They, the best part about it too is like you, as I was meeting was he was here's the deal. He's like, there's no beating on the bush or no bullshit. Like we work with Harvey Windows, and that's it. Here's the window you have a choice from of the two, three. There are three different finishes. Do you want it? Sure. Is, Harvey, is it a national brand or is it just? Yeah, Har- Har- Harvey's Harvey's a well known brand. I, they're, it's they're a giant of, rabbit. Yeah, it's owned by Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ha, ha, yeah, Harvey ha. Harvey Building ha. Products. I think I think that's what it is. Harvey Harvey Building Products. I don't know. Hmm. The windows are beautiful, man. Like because the windows that were in this house up until yesterday um, were here when they built the house forty years ago. And they're like single pane, like real shitty, mm-hmm. like wooden frames, all chipping, cracking. Yeah. So are they are they going to? Uh, is it going to make the house warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thank you, Nick, for that. Uh, oh, that. did I write that? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's good. We are. And all, um, it's funny, too. That it's actually, I sent a text to my buddy Jeff, uh, who, uh, by the way, I was supposed to be in San Diego uh, this past weekend, but that was one of my, my trips for concerts. But I got the weather finally, that's uh, a fair point, Will. The weather finally got nice out there. I know. I know. Like two months. If it's not covered in fucking ash. Um, well, no, you're you're getting ash. I mean, there's yeah, there's no question about that. But anyways, yeah. So I was supposed to be I was supposed to be out there this past weekend, but I was texting my I go, I go, I do. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I just got all my fucking windows replaced today. I go, <laughs> I go, and the fact that I'm this fucking excited about that just shows my age. <laughs> <laughs> like this you is got new windows. Yeah. So yeah, new windows, new weed bag. Life is good. Well, how did you afford the weed after uh, all those windows? Oh, so great question. Now we're going to talk about windows and then financing on this podcast. Oh, hey, did um, you? I, I know you didn't listen to the last podcast, but did no. you just hypothetically ride your bike to a bank and take <laughs> $7,000 in cash? I did not. Okay. Yeah, what just some ass, just one ass would do that? Seeing, seeing if other who, Franklin people would do that. Who takes 7000 in cash out? What an idiot. <laughs> I wish it cost 7000 That'd be nice. Did you, Matt? Uh, <laughs> cash? <laughs> Through the drive-thru. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, in this, uh, in this wonderful state of Massachusetts, we actually have uh, uh, no interest financing for uh, home improvements that are energy efficiency improvements, which is oh, great. So, oh, nice. I was able to do, for Windows, they cap out at ten grand, which is not anything when it comes to Windows. So, I got the first 10000 Zero percent interest for seven years. I thought John, uh, the UPS guy, was saying we'll send you extra cash, but it's ash, okay? Cash. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, some I, of them, I, they had some amazing photos. It was like it was daytime in San Francisco, but you couldn't crazy. tell because. Oh yeah, it's great. Like even here, like um, last Monday, not this past one, but the one before, uh, basically everything west of here was on fire, and uh, mom and dad were still here, and uh, it was completely black at noon. You know, uh, just you couldn't see the sun. It was just it was just night. And because of the ash cloud was so thick that it dropped it from 98 degrees the day before to 59 because it just there's no Is sun. That getting what, through. that what made it snow? No, it snowed. The cold front came down from Wyoming that night and dropped it down to 35. And then it was that way for the next two days. But now it's back Wasn't it like 101 the day before and then it was 35 the next day or something like that. It was 98. Never got above 90. 100. But yeah, but it was 98. Yeah. I was going by what they said on Padre. I mean, Padre. it could have been maybe down in Denver or somewhere, but not here. Uh, Wait, on Don. What's Don's last name? Chris who? Don Orlo. The, what am I drawing a blank with his last Orcillo? name? Orcillo. Orcillo. Yeah, he's the one that's. Oh, um, I love that man. Him, him and Mark Grant are just great together. I, 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 I watched. Well, I did last year. I watched the game because those two guys are just so funny. I'll tell you, you know, common denominator here is Don. I don't know the other guy. Mark but... Grant. He big league pitcher for a while. Yeah, but in in Boston, having uh, Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy together was the fucking best, man. Like they, it was like they they their goal was to try to make each other laugh each game, and yeah. and when they do, they just they he Don loses it for like innings at a time. Well, that's what they do. Oh, they're both they're both pretty fair too. I mean, if we did down. if we did sports games, we would totally do that. Too, oh, right? Fuck yeah, would, dude! Are you like, kidding me? People would be like, why are we even watching this for the game? These guys are just like... <laughs> they, they back on each other's weight. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anywho. It, it, it's funny. I, I Just speaking of buying shit and geeking out on random things, like <clears throat> I, I did twice in the last few days. So today, the Lego Cantina was released for members only. <laughs> Yeah, so I can't just buy the cantina. I have to like buy everything else that I want because it's like, well, it's all been on my wish list. So I dropped a quite a large amount of money on Lego today. So, so how much? I didn't say how much. I don't want to say how much. It's just a lot. <laughs> just say that because the cantina alone is a large chunk of money. But then I went and bought, you know, I went and bought Luke Speeder. I went and bought, you know, the uh, the Razor Crest. I went and went ahead and bought like all these other like ones I've been waiting for. And it's like, like the ad ad. I went and bought everything. So I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, there's a new ad ad. New ad, right? and it's because yeah. like the one well, the last man, you talk yeah. about. You want some? You want to get your money I'm back? Saying, I dropped some money. I dropped some. Right, I'm, I'm curious, want... like who spent more on Windows or Legos now? Yeah, for real. Yeah, I you mean, get... 
Go ahead, Jack. Can I get your money back, Nick? No, I don't. Do it live on YouTube, showing pe- people you building that because it's. It, I, I actually stumbled on it. A guy what? was just building Lego. He, one was like a safe, and one was like a tape, and like four thousand people watched. Holy, because yeah, yeah. And I'm because, like, go, yeah. And live. I'm going. I go. I can. I go. I could build that. Well, the thing is, a lot of the people that make money off that are speed builders. So they do how fast they can build these. I don't know if he was going that fast. Oh, I was okay. just like, going, I don't even know how I got in the channel because I left it on YouTube and I, I came back. And I go, what am I? What Chris, am I watching? Chris, are you holy shitting out the price or the set? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I think Chris could could put together the set high and people yeah. would still watch. Like, I don't think there's a matter of timing. You know, you might have to do a little bit of time lapse if you're getting high while you're doing it. Jerry makes that a good point. Yeah. What? I could have bought the green screen. Yeah, <laughs> I could have bought the green screen now. That set costs eleven cents per piece. Yeah, that's that's usually the average, like for most Legos, about ten cents per many, piece. Okay, yeah. How many pieces are in it? Three thousand one hundred and eighty-seven. Okay, you do the math. <laughs> Three hundred fifty. Three hundred fifty bucks. I'll do the yeah, math for, for you. The cantina. Yeah. Do you enjoy it, Nick? I do. I have you no know pocket. That cantina looks amazing. It, it looks great. It, comes it does with. look pretty cool. Yeah. Well, how is the gap? I think it was crazy. It was an exclu- It was an exclusive for VIP members only for today because it doesn't officially come out to October 1st. It was sold out by noon. I was like, holy <laughs> culture. Colorado's got no, it just was. It's <laughs> true. That's so true. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Our listeners are the best. Randy, that is hilarious. So, <laughs> that's that's funny, good. Yeah. How was how was the Gatling gun? I'll get to that later. But okay. uh, I want, then well, the second the second thing I geeked out over was this past weekend, the official uh debut of the new Ford Bronco happened down in Buenos Vista, Colorado, and I drove all the way down there just to go see it. Because it's you know it's a big boy toy, and I just was like, holy shit, look at this thing! Because you want it, because you know that's a that's considerable a lot more money than the Legos. But uh, be single again, yeah, exactly. with no kids, with no yeah, kids, yeah. 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 It looks I, it looks it looks cool as shit, dudes. I'm like, I, yes. well, I could I could drive down and watch it on YouTube probably, but I couldn't. Well, actually, well, it's gonna the, the, that was for the Bronco something West, the one that. For the East Coast is going to be in Townsend, Tennessee, which is just south of Knoxville, uh, October sixth through tenth. If anyone want, anybody wants to go see the new Bronco, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big Bronco fan, so uh, they're the growing team or, them, man. They look so the new awesome. the new ones look awesome, dude. I mean, I never really I've never do. been a Ford guy, but uh, this one I was like, I actually might get a Ford for the Ford first time in my life. What I, would, I would go with, but yeah, only when you're in Hawaii. Uh, not now, no, the classic Mustang, no. like 1960. Five, four through 69, yeah. 70, something like that. Yeah. Those are good ones. They're worth a lot of money. Some of them are. Some of them aren't. Yeah. Uh, I hate when I see one that's not kept up. I want to find the owner and smack him. It's or you like the ones from like the early 90s that just look like complete douchebag mobiles? <laughs> it's a 5.0, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had one in the late 80s. What year was it? What, in the 80s, but what year of the car was it? The eight, it was brand new when I bought it. It was 80, oh. let's see, 86. 80 um, stones. Had, 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 had a two stroke in it. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> it would actually oh, take, I, I, it, it, it was a stick shift. I didn't know how to drive a stick shift. That oh, point, that's the don't. one that looks like a hatchback. It told you when. To, no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a hatchback. <laughs> it looks like one, though. Yeah. Um, but then I traded it for a uh, es- escort. GT. Oh, those escorts! Yeah, those were really great. <laughs> well, they look nice. well, they yeah, you, you, you pay for the time. For crap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I liked how they went from hookers to escorts. You know, it was great. True. It kind of made them sound <laughs> fancy. Hookers to escorts. Well, that's where my stick ship came loose. <laughs> yeah, st- yeah. I had, I had the car for a month, and I'm like it, going. It was a high end so escort. Yeah, so I took it. They wanted to charge me 135. dollars I go, well, I have a warranty. They go. No, not for that. I go, it's bumper to bumper. I go, isn't that in between the bumper? And they go, well, just, I go, you know what? Just keep the car. So I started, right. walking, away. I started walking away and they go, no, 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 no. And so they didn't. Rubbing they didn't. is racing. I, I really, I really want to get to more car talk, but we really have to like just insert one of those ad breaks right here. They go commercials. Pump the brakes. 
I'll put the ad in. All right. That was good. Oh, that was a good break. And then I'm not I'm not voting for that person, by the way. Chris, you had something. I was gonna share it, but but no. That's gone. Okay. Well, when we came back from the ad break, I wanted to make sure that Sherry Sherry really wants to know what's the story behind Jack's background tonight. And for those listening at home that can't see, Jack has a Casper, the friendly ghost, and a thing that says must see, just the letter C. So what's must see, must see. TV and movies? It's my new one of my new YouTube channels. But oh, uh, look at you I, fucking. Do you want to pump it or <laughs> crimp it or pimp it or put it Esc- up? There escort or? it? I did a, a lost trivia. I did a, a lost trivia thing on it, and I thought it was pretty easy. It was old pictures of the stars, and then what character they played. People were struggling with it. And they they couldn't fig- they couldn't figure it out. I'm like going, I just some people got it, but a lot of people were like I got two. I go two. How could you only get two? But anyway, been, uh, but now everyone has that iron, you know that that mind that you have, Jack. Some were pretty easy. Well, now a couple were. Some were pretty hard though, because I, I did Josh uh, uh, Holloway as a baby. Oh. <laughs> but uh, anyway, did you, did you have the, the nice five o'clock baby shadow? <laughs> the per, the, was, the baby he, saying, "Son of a bitch!" Was he wearing jeans? Yes, he was, and he was swimming. Yeah. So <laughs> that should. That, I don't know how people didn't get it. Anyway, if you want to see it, go on must see. TV. It's must underscore C. Must underscore C. TV and movies. That's kind of a play on the the NBC old must see TV thing. Anyway, so ghost thing, and I was going to tell this ghost story, but then uh, Dennis posted something of Gettysburg. This guy's driving, and you literally see ghost. Would you say there were ghosts, Nick? You saw it. Yeah, it's on it's on Facebook, Matt. In, in this in this digital Photoshop world, I'm always skeptical at it now. I'm like, ah, that's just somebody putting something in, you know, as it's walking by. Who knows? But it does look real. It looks like a ghost actually walking by the cannon. You're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But and you know, it's somehow. like it's the same thing. as like with a three minute little baby. Like, how many times did we watch that and people thought there was a ghost, you know, in the window in that one scene? Uh, so and for years, people, yeah, it's a cardboard cutout. But people for years, are like, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's like, no, it's a cardboard cutout of Ted Danson. I'm like, oh. Never mind. Well, like Wizard of Oz, when they they thought they saw a munchkin yeah. that was hanging. I am tough. It, that looks real. I mean, because you just yeah. see it, you just start it, swinging it back and forth. And they all know it was a munchkin. I no, thought no, it was like somebody from the set or something that had hung himself. Like it, it was just a munchkin. Depends on what what you know, okay. which person tells it to. Yeah, I always heard. I heard as well. I heard that he hung himself with a guitar string. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the G string. So, uh, <laughs> Why don't you just go and shave your face with some mace in the dark? Boom! Thank Where'd you. that come from? What happened? Beck. Ah, that's the lyric that I was dropping. And, and ah, that's why. Chris with the. I'm trying to think. Yeah. What movie is that from? Because Chris doesn't. I knew the lyric. I knew it sounded from me. I just couldn't. It didn't hit me like it did Chris. Yeah. Okay. So, so anyway, and then some asshole put something about it, it was Confederate soldiers because they were retreating. I didn't yeah, think some that. asshole wrote that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think that was funny. I thought that was pretty fucking brutally. Uh, I, I just thought I, I felt bad for you, Nick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so my ghost story. I was going to tell it anyway. My granddaughter, she she talks to things that aren't there. I mean, I think I've told this before, where she's she's literally having converse, but she can't really. But now her vocabulary is actually like all of a sudden this week. She's, you know, Chris, you remember when your daughter all of a sudden could just start, and Matt, when your yeah, kids just start up right up since. Yeah, exactly. And that's how my granddaughter's going to be. She just comes from a long line of gabbers. But anyway, she, she, the other day she goes to me and she points in the kitchen. She goes, ghost. I go, what? And I go, and she, and she was saying the name of the, who she was talking to, but I couldn't understand her. I'm like going, okay, who are you speaking to? Who are you talking to? She goes, I go, I go, I go, all right, slow down. Who are you talking? I go, I want to see it. Why can't I see it? And they, holy so, cow. And then she did it Wait, again. You know, the ghost thing, it just keeps like, like it's, well, because, you know, I've, we've seen them and we've seen ghosts in our house. We, we've all seen yeah, the kid, it's like It's like 10 times creepier. Yeah. yeah. But, but then, and she's done, and she's done it at her, she'll sit in her, like, uh, her, well, she has a bed now, but she'll sit there and she, and, my daughter will see her on the camera talking to somebody. And one time she said, and a couple of times she said, Nana, which is my wife's mom. Oh. And I'm like going, 
I go, well, I, we don't want her visiting. She'll never leave. But anyway, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's, just, it's a joke. Uh, but she did it again today. She, first she goes, dark. Nana, go dark. to the light. <laughs> tell, tell her to tell Nana to go to the light. Yeah. She, she goes, it's dark, dark, dark. I go, dark, dark. And then she goes, ghost. I'm like going, is she like in another dimension? It's I, like that. I mean, get the fuck like, out of my house. Yeah. <laughs> All the magic. On, <laughs> no, it's just uh, it's just it's just weird, but it's just like it's it's funny because you know they say kids can see, yeah, dead people, yeah. like cats. Yeah, was she wearing a red dress? Peach. I think you're thinking of the Matrix, Chris. Yeah. Oh, anyway, so um, that, that was my ghost story, but. Sense. Six uh, Sense is the uh, same thing. All right, Whenever yeah. there was a ghost, there was something red in the scene mm. that was like a, like, mm. a notifi- like a signifier or a whatever. Like mm. the door handle was a red doorknob. And that was like the the signal that he was... I did dead. not know that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so a um, long, long time ago, um, this was when my, my daughter was a baby. Um, she... Um, so, so she's a baby, probably about three months old. And there's a house next to us, a very large house. It's actually dates back to 1850. Our house goes back to 1920. So their house is older. And there was a whole family that was moving in there and they were renovating the place, all of this stuff. And um, so right about that time that they were moving in and renovating, and I mean, tearing out walls, taking it back to its original condition. Um there was this night that I'm, and at the time I would always have the first feeding. So, um, you know, it's like, she's a baby. She always wakes up and I would go back and give her the bottle and she'd go to sleep. So this one night, and it, this was right around the time BSG was out. Cause I would always kind of like be on the message boards and just kind of like wait my time out. You know, it's like, okay, like, you know, come on, like, when are you going to wake up? So all of a sudden, you know, um, the, the little baby monitor, it is the weirdest fucking thing. Okay. And, and, and I've never had a baby monitor pick up another signal. Like it doesn't pick up a cell phone. It doesn't pick up shit. Okay. Um, and if it did, if it did pick up something, what came through was just gibberish. It was, it was like somebody talking for the first time. Right. But it was not a baby. And she was three months, which at that point, they're not talking. But it's this distinct older voice that goes, blah, 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 you know, and just like spits out like this like <laughs> garbage. Like, and I look at the monitor like, what the fuck did I just hear? And immediately right after that, my daughter starts to cry. And I am like, you said she's oh, on her own. Yeah. You're good. I'll get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> so I go back there, you know, and I'm just like, you know, it's in the dark, you know, of course. And I give her the bottle and I'm getting her back to sleep. And I, I Dude, her lights the have been on so quick if I was on, on bottle duty that, at that point. <laughs> and, uh, and, and trust me, I was like, what the hell was that? All right. So one week later, kid you not one week later, so, and I'm just like, okay, this is weird, whatever, like moving on with my life. I'm not going to like worry about this. I'm not afraid. And, and again, I always had the first feeding. So I'm always waiting for my, for my daughter. And, uh, she, uh, so one night she just keeps crying and waking up and crying. And I mean, like she did this like five times in a row where she just like would, you know, and I think on the sixth time, you know, I'm going back there, I'm trying to get her settled down. I put her in the crib weirdest fucking thing the crib shook we don't have a crib that rocks it's a crib it's not a rocking crib it goes it goes i mean and i mean the hairs on my arm still are standing up because i remember the experience so vividly immediately i look underneath the crib i'm looking everywhere like was there an animal in like what the fuck was that shit? And uh, patches. What, what, what's the name of your cat? Uh, well, we didn't have that cat. <laughs> <at the> time, <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Those are I, can't remember, I can't remember the name of the cat that attacked Meowzers. you. Meowzers. Meowzers. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. It was not around at that time. So <laughs> and there was no cats in the room, no dog in the room, nothing. And and I just, you know, but she fell asleep. And I went to bed after that. And I just was like, okay, I'm not going to try. It's okay. <laughs> So I get to talking to our new neighbors who are moving in and they're like, yeah, we've had the weirdest like experiences, like a whole toilet moved, like it was in one place. And then, you know, it's, it's in this other place. Yeah, my husband went to pee on the floor because it wasn't in the same spot. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Yeah. Their fucking toilet moved? Like it's it a different room? In front of them, but like, like basically it was in one position and they come back and it's a different position. The whole thing. Like- the whole toilet or the stairs? it wasn't connected they were like moving in and they were renovating and so like the toilet had okay that makes more because i was trying to figure out how yeah yeah yeah. it was not connected it was not that's not okay, right. fucking okay <laughs> um, but, but his tools would go missing so then the lady like the lady begins to tell me that she's done some history searching on this house and that like her house the house that they're moving in the one that's next door like and i mean like just next door to us and there are graves actually in the back of the uh their backyard nice it was a family and the the original owners of that house was a family uh, wait wait wait. family can i ask a question before they bought the burbs they know there were graves back there no they didn't because the grave headstones were cut off but you could see the lump and like that's you can't but well, yeah, but you got to know that like they were cut off. Where the specific. fuck is this? This isn't where you live. Yeah, yeah, this is right next door to where I live. Yeah, so you still live next to the dead people. Yeah, well, they've. I mean, we haven't had any ghost experience with that, but it was very oh, heightened at the time. Bro, your, your daughter's yeah. crib fucking shook, and it's yeah, like, I, 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 I know. <laughs> Trust me, right. the ghost motorboated his daughter. Yeah, no. The big, <laughs> for going there. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess that's the name of the, t- the title of the episode. <laughs> uh, ghost <laughs> Motorboat? <laughs> the mo- Motorboat and Ghost is going to be the episode title. Uh, so, no, so, so, seriously. So, okay. They yeah. didn't know the body. Can, couldn't they sue? Because you can't sell a house to someone when there's... And not disclose okay, their have, fucking also, dead bodies. You also have to understand, like people that bought it, they bought it because it was for, like it was foreclosed on or whatever. They, like, that doesn't they, matter. Like, okay, again, the people that bought this house were not of the mindset of or, this world. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, they just, you live like, next to the fucking burbs, dude. They're the, uh, that's right. They I'm were the burbs. Yeah. They were not of the ilk that would have basically been like, we're going to get a lawyer and sue the people that like sold us this house. That was not the case. So, um, <laughs> and, and they they eventually left the house. Move the fuck the house. out. Well, um, I would I would have left too. I mean, uh, Randy said the toilet moved on Colt McCoy. <laughs> um but maybe maybe randy that's a good callback to to jack's old old um, well it's a true story yeah yeah true. but it's it's a it's it's got legs now okay so, well much like this i'm guy. glad you remembered randy because uh nick and chris are looking at us like i don't get it i don't, I don't no idea so well, I'm, 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 I'm laughing i'm, I'm gonna <laughs> i'm on a, i was on a plane i was on a plane with colt mccoy who was drafted number one by cleveland He's sitting in first class. I'm in business. I'm right behind him. He went to the bathroom. First one to use that bathroom. I went after him. He peed all over the toilet seat. All over the fucking toilet seat. I'm like, fuck you, Colt McCoy. You couldn't lift the toilet seat? Anyway, go ahead, Matt. He didn't want to get COVID, so. Um. <laughs> but he saw you, Jack. I have I have If he saw his throws, he's, he was always off. So anyway, go ahead, Matt. Yeah. He was pissing all over the field. I don't know <laughs> if I have anything more to say about this. I mean, it, there, there's not really much more to report it. That eventually, just, that bothers me. There's dead bodies out there. Even, eventually, it. Well, I mean, they're buried or whatever. But so, Still, it's like I, go kid, go put in the backyard. It's kids. not in my backyard. It's in their backyard. It, the person that sold the house. Well, it was a repo, so yeah. you don't know who who exactly. who broke the tombstones. We don't know. We so they, no they were, they're, they're completely gone. There, there's no tombstones. At they're, all. they're completely gone. And the guy. When, when like, were they buried there? When were the when, what year? I I have no idea, Jack. Because the headstones were gone. the The research that the woman did basically was is that the the family that originally had the house next to me, the one that dates back to 1850, um, the family 
basically consisted of like five children and a, and a mom and a dad and all the children died and the husband of TB. And it ended up just being, um, the, the wife that was that was left in charge. The wife dude, fuck this, dude. I, I, I want to stop podcasting right now. I'm <laughs> so uh, the wife's the wife survived and everybody else died. Yeah, sure. Because there's not I, 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 can, we dig, family. can we dig those people up and, and test see if there was something in there, you know, that they're maybe I, they I, will, I will I will say her. that I will say that, that the house next door to me, um and, and I hope that my neighbors never listen to this podcast. Um, <laughs> I, there has been a bit of a history of, of, uh, the, the wives going a little, does it have a, does it have a large a little, furnace like, in the bottom in the basement? Uh, uh, a little what about this? No, no, she, it was TB, you know, they, they died of TB. So to okay, I got it. Sure. No, they were cold? fucking murdered by the mother. Exactly. Yeah, no. You don't know. The ghosts of these kids are, come, are fucking that's, pissed that's off. That's why they're still around. They're wrestling. They're still they're around. around. They're like like, I don't shit. know, but I'm living next to, to What's the, the actual, one that gave her dad 40 live, wax and gave her mom 40 more? What, what's Lizzie name? Borden. Lizzie Borden. You live next door to Lizzie Borden. Massachusetts' now. own Lizzie Borden. All right. Paul, so From Fall River. <laughs> what, so wait a minute. Wait, one, more wait. In, one, one more incident that was weird that happened. Okay. One more. please. You tell. Living next to a serial killer. Dude, so, I, if, if, if you guys haven't figured out by now, I clearly live in the better fucking Franklin. Of the two. <laughs> <laughs> this, okay. By the way, this is so Boston of you. Like, we cannot be Franklin friends. We're, we, it's it's a better no, thing. It's like that, you know? Well, you live in scary Franklin, man. That's no, it, just, it, gives, it gives character. You can't. You can't. You know, the murder, the murder's you, you, this is all coming full fucking circle. I bet you their fucking pets were killed too, but there's no gravestone for them. So they came back and possessed little bastard meowsers <laughs> who had to fucking snap on you yeah, and slap you your face for killing them in their prior life. All right. I, will, all I, will just say that, I like. I like that, Chris. It wasn't I, a mouser. Think, that, I, yeah. You. It's a it's an excellent theory because we've already established that cats can see ghosts. Yes, and so yes. that's what we're saying is that the ghosts were trying to send mad message to the baby didn't work. So what they did was they got to Mausers and said, "You need to get this fucker's attention." Or okay. yeah, can better you, yet, oh, me, perhaps just, ghost Mauser attack you. No, no, fucking no, pay attention. No, no, Matt's the fucking ghost, dude. Ma- Matt's the ghost. Mausers was attacking him. Oh. I mean, he is a floating head. <laughs> Wow. The whole the word Snowden thing? Dude, this shit's just unraveling. <laughs> this is like a fucking ball of yarn, dude. God damn it. Who the fuck are we podcasting with, guys? I don't know. So Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and he disappeared. Yeah, like a ghost. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess we've got to these more often before these what? shows start. Well, you know what? We figure. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Well, there he is. <laughs> you guys fucking suck. You know that? <laughs> you see your head. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. There you go. A little more. A little more. You're still oh, a bit there, yeah. there you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you got Chris tickled. Seriously, if you're not joining us live, guys, you, you need to join us live. I, I'm going to have gummies before the show more often. This is incredible. <laughs> well, I got it. When COVID's over, we do a live remote from uh, Franklin, Indiana, and we dig up the backyard. That's fucking twisted, Jack. That's really that weird. Is, okay. So, <laughs> so let me just let me just finish finish you out. Tell like, me, you tell me, you tell me, we we wouldn't get I a lot of. My fucking Go ahead. Are oh, you Go trying ahead. to tell me that we wouldn't all be fucking haunted the rest of our lives? I'm already haunted, haunted, so it doesn't fucking matter. And so, Matt's already haunted. So first, first of all, like most most of this activity was was heightened when there was activity when they they took the house back to its normal state. Right. That that couple <laughs> that took it over, they basically ran out of money, funds, or whatever, and they bounced. Um, and we never um, saw them again. Wait, time out, time out. Did you see them leave? You, yeah, exactly. You think they I, bounced? I no. I mean, they they left for sure. Okay, um, but no, well, no time out. You just you th- th- one day they just weren't there. Okay, everything's not a conspiracy, Trump. Okay, so look, they just were gone. All right, they just left. <laughs> did you? I'm asking you a question. Did you? Did any of your neighbors see them leave? 
Yes, we they left. Okay, they're they're all gone. They had dogs with them and everything. In they fact, moved in fact, was, on. in fact, it was abandoned for so for for so long, at least a solid year or so, that the fire uh, detectors, the smoke de- alarms, started going off. They all started going beep beep. And let me tell you, it is freaking annoying when you're just outside and all you hear is like a fire detector going off in your neighbor's yeah. house. And so I had sure, to actually a fire detector. Mm-hmm. I actually had to. Um, you know, a little more annoying, you know what's more annoying? Ultra and I had to take down the, the, the smoke detector because it was just annoying. It was like they just kept going off. So, okay. Speaking of smoke detectors, I can, I can legitimately hear one. There's something chirping behind one of you. Oh, dude, I have a cricket. Yeah. There's a cricket down here. In my Buddy Holly. It's not a cricket. fucking cricket, dude. It's not a cricket. They fucking know <laughs> you're talking about them. Exactly. <laughs> the high frequencies, man, they're talking. So let's get the facts straight. Matt never saw his neighbors leave. Okay. Nope. Why are you, I can't even get through the fucking story. God damn. This, this is just typical, Jack. Just <laughs> typical. I'm trying to write down the information so we don't mess up. But go ahead. Oh, okay. So they leave. Back, 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 Another couple back. comes in and they, they buy the house. Now, this guy, he did a lot of renovating around um, the city. And so he like that was his that was his thing. Like he fixed up houses and what have you. And so they they bulldozed um they like they never dug up the bodies okay that never happened but where where they were buried is basically like there's a big huge cement slab over all of that shit now so because they had earth you know they had the machines come in and they ripped off things of that house and they took it back to its state and after that pretty much nothing I haven't had any any uh, so ghost saying, sightings or anything like that you think cement slab that over. Time, what's up Cement slab keeps ghosts intact. I, I'm not saying that it's uh, you know like the the Ghostbusters uh, containment unit, but uh, we have. You see that picture of Casper right there? That's a yeah. picture of him after he flew through a slab of concrete. <laughs> okay, so so here's the thing. So so during that period of time, um, it was it was the most active, and the only other incident in, incident that I that I remember. Um, specifically was there was one night there was an electrical storm that came through like a, just a mm-hmm. thunderstorm. Um, but we had a lot of lightning, like a lot. And it was just kind of nonstop. So take of it what you will. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe it was the thunder making this happen. I don't know. But again, late at night, it's like 2 a.m. I'm on the computer, you know, looking at porn. No, I was on message boards. Um <laughs> And uh, my my daughter was a toddler by this point, like maybe two or, you know, so oh, we had one of those, we had one of those tables. No, no, nothing dealing with my, my daughter. This was just strictly uh, targeted at me. But my daughter had uh, one of those those tables where, you know, the, the kids can stand at and they have like the piano keys and there's yeah. a book that flips over. Right. And it has the colors. Well, one of the piano keys is red and it kept going off during this storm Ev, like it would and and let me tell you there is do, nothing, do you fucking not get it there is there's nothing creepier Wait, than are you kids are you in the middle are of you the night bullshitting right no now, like, i'm not bullshitting i remember this and by the way my wife did not want to hear any of this she was like i'm not having this so in the middle but, of the like, she doesn't believe or she believes or doesn't want to hear every every so often it would go off and it would say red like red a rum? little red rum, red. no, not red. It was just red, and then like it's uh, the first time it does it, you're like, "That's weird." Okay, I'm just gonna go, and then it would do it again, and then I would like try to ignore it, and then after the third time, I'm like, "All right, I'm I'm like going over and looking at this thing. I'm I'm physically looking at it. Nothing's wrong with it." Okay, I'm gonna go back to red. I'm like, "You son of a bitch." Like, did it, what, it was uh, it really? a talking did did it have words in the in the uh there were other keys i mean it could have chose blue green or yellow no, but, no. but if you hit it it said it would say red i have the same toy i know what you're talking about it's never yeah. done that never done that for you're me like, you're like that's it the toy's gone if that thing ever do that thing would have been broken over my knee so quickly if it was <laughs> one red i really think we knee. need to investigate I, what's the address of the house next to you i'm good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, text me the address of the house next to you, and I'll, I'll do some research on it. Okay, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. I just had to I, share I'm my ghost stories. I'm dying to find out what you dig up. Yeah, I'm literally. literally. I'll, 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 yeah, I think we should. I, 
Yeah. That, it was like a triple pun in that sentence. By the, way, by the way, the current owners were not the people that renovated it. So there's now new people that live in there. Yeah. They have no idea that there were bodies buried in the background. Oh, so they have. They, so they bought the house you and nobody told tell them? them? That's bullshit. So you have a missed opportunity. A, you a put moral some obligation money. of this world. I am not. Them. No. No, because they're, they're living, they're losing in, in, in the, the house of Lizzie Borden, where they kill, where the wife kills people. Is it a husband and wife? And, do they and, have kids? Do they have yeah. kids? Yeah, they do. They, Matt, come on, yeah, fucking, I, we have a Netflix look, special on our hands, boys. Any activity since since uh, you let's know, do it because yeah. they've been waiting for a family that didn't know what was going on. It's been go, like just, thirteen years, guys. Thirteen years. Ghosts, ghosts have nothing but time. Thirteen? Thir- really? Thirteen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your story fucking just gets worse <laughs> and worse and worse and worse. Guys, so, so one day the wife's going to come over and go, yeah, if you don't see my husband, he left. Yeah. He took the kids. How old were the kids? Oh, they no, his, his first wife. That's what happened. His first wife. Teen. His first wife? This has gotten way too. We we Dude, we have a Netflix special on our hands. And yeah, I can, we we need to, this is this is going to happen. Yeah, I think so. Okay, What's um, called, what are those ghost hunter people called? You got to keep Meowsers alive for at least just, a couple of years until we get funding because he's going to be a big part of this shit. Yeah, Meowser is a dick. So if you knew a, somebody at the local university in the anthropology department with some ground print <laughs> ground penetrating radar, you get easily just scan it over the ground. There's a little yeah, indentation. I like yeah. that. I can't believe. So, what do they think that slab is? Like a patio? No, no. It's where they park their vehicles. They they put in a whole like driveway right there. So you're running over dead people. Driving over the dead people every day. <laughs> and dead people are going <laughs> just just, just oh, dripping God. just dripping I, I, oil on them. Oh, oh yeah. I, I forgot. There was there was this mulberry tree that was planted there. Is it fucking and red? <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this was this was weird. They when they had the mulberry tree cut down, this was like the weirdest thing. Um, you this know, tree. Those, yeah, okay, so yeah, this mulberry tree that was planted right next to where these these uh, graves, you know, were. Um, and it, and by the way, it was a bush that basically just kept growing into a tree, and and people just let it let it All go. At this them. point, it was a a mulberry tree. Um, so they came out to cut it down. And now this, this vehicle, you know, the, 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 with the cherry picker and everything, it had, it had giant size truck batteries, right? That thing died. The batteries were drained on that thing and they had to come out and jump. Because it was tree. sitting, it was sitting on the graves, right? I mean, the, they were trying to cut down the tree, but it was, so, it was sitting, it was stationed with a dead. What people, is it? Right? I want to do the research in this house now. <laughs> yeah, Randy, you're fucking right. J and J Productions needs to secure the rights to produce this story. This could be our. This could be a podcast. We just do. This is going to take way more than Patreon money to make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if got that much legs, but uh, it's it's definitely a weird weird incident uh, that I've that I've lived through. I can't so, believe you yeah. live next to that place. Well, the thing about it is, is like the number of people that have gone through. I mean, we've lived here for 16 years. And so, you know, we, we saw kind of like the, you know, the all of it go down, really. It's, so. And it's funny that, that everybody just leaves that house. Exactly. It's not like, and they don't, they don't tell you why they're leaving, but they know why they're leaving because they're not going to admit it because then it, lo- it loses resale value. So, you know, they're not going to sit there and say like, oh, yeah, we're haunted. My daughter's head spun around in the crib. No, no. The weird thing was, is the wife, <laughs> the couple that moved in and discovered the yeah. headstones and like did did all of the renovation. She would, and again, like like most of the neighbors just kind of were like, okay, she's just weird. But one day she was out on her uh, roof, sharpening her, uh, her like, No, no, she was she like just naked one day randomly out on her roof. Yeah, yeah. She was like out on. Well, there's. The, it has like this patio that you can walk out onto the roof and she was out on the roof either half naked or naked i didn't get a chance to see this um but uh one of the other neighbors like saw her and was like hey you need to go back in or something this like is that. the wife of the like couple that had went in and tore out the thing and she you well, know, how, well how old was she i don't know i was mean she, was, every- she, was she normal when she came in to the house. I thought she was normal, but you don't know. Like, I mean, they lived there for probably about a year. Or so you know, you, know. you do know. So, 
in a you year, do time, know, your fucking yeah. neighborhood is haunted as shit. That's what you do know. Do I need to bring my dot, my granddaughter out there and have her talk to the people? And see that would be helpful. That would no, be oh, no. It, did you not listen, Jack? It's a motor boating ghost. Do you, want, <laughs> do, you, do you want your granddaughter exposed to that? I do not. No, I don't. Sure, 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 sure. You know, like I, that, I watched. A, uh, I was watching the episode where Miles is a child. He sees the dead of loss, and he sees the uh, the rewatch. And he talks to dead people. So, yeah. Hmm. That that would that would scare me, man. I mean, I, I thought it was weird that you know we things just happen here, you know, like our windows our windows are tight, and all of a sudden they'll just shut, and we just go, okay, whoa, all right, that's okay. But you know what you're saying? I, I mean, I don't think there's anyone buried dead next to my house or in my yard. You don't that know. Might that might explain a lot. So, how many graves are we all living on? So. Oh. I have, two, I have I had two, uh, two dogs died, and I buried them out back. I know that. So you have a pet cemetery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking Cujo. Yeah. But you know, um, <laughs> really, I would bet. I would bet more. Chris has more dead bodies than, than the rest of us do because I mean, it's Massachusetts. There's lots of people who have lived and died. In Probably a lot of witches. Oh, no, right? North Carolina. I mean, you know, you got a lot, mm-hmm. a lot. I mean, no, nobody ever knew, no, or knew what happened to Virginia Dare. You know, so. So, but I, was, up. I, cause I mentioned about Raleigh, about the Civil War, and I was told I someone sent me. I might have been Randy. Someone sent me something saying, "No bullshit, you know, nothing, nothing here." No, there's not many battles that happen in North Carolina. Yeah, like Danville, I think was one of the only few. There's only a couple. So we we just skipped North Carolina. Well, I mean, because everything, you know, everything happened in Virginia, and so. The only time that really it got to North Carolina was actually from the Western Front when, when Sherman went east and then he, tur- he went all the way down to Savannah, then turned north. That's when there was a few battles. Savannah? Huh? Savannah? Georgia. Savannah? That's right. That's how you say it. Savannah. Well, yeah, this is. Uh, I'm still waiting for that I, text, Matt. I, w- I would like to. Oh, you want me to text you that now? Well, I, you want me to- I don't want you to forget. You're old. Thanks. Sure. What I won't forget, though, is throwing in another one of those ad breaks because we're a long show and we got to have two. Dude. Oh, that was a good one. Advertising Ghostbusters, the new movie, right? <laughs> uh, I'll finally get back to it. Oh, not that. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to to uh, continue on with the ghost stories, but uh, but Jack asked about how the Gatlin gun was, and so for everyone out there. The reason why I've been gone for two weeks is uh, when I I drove up to Wyoming a, a month ago or so, and I discovered that there was a uh, a shooting company that you could shoot any kind of weapons. <laughs> and I told my dad about it, so he wanted to come. So we drove up to Cody, Wyoming, to shoot uh, automatic weapons, as well as there's a huge gun and old West museum up there. And uh, so we shot a, a a Thompson submachine gun an M16 and a Gatlin gun from, you know, the 1860s. And uh, it was pretty awesome. I actually preferred the Thompson the most, though. But, but did it handle? I mean, was it like... Yeah, I can send you a video of me doing it. It's actually, of all the ones I shot, though, that was the, the actually the most disappointing because it's just really? sitting there, you know, and you're, just, you're really just turning a crank. That's all you're doing. <laughs> so you're going, oh, it's not really that as cool as but, I thought but, it would be. Uh, but yeah. a, a weapon of its time, that was just like... Oh, it'd be badass. It was six shooters and rifles, and you got... You just up there. You know, but it's pretty... It'll shoot as fast as you can crank it. Because any Western, when they say they have a Gatling gun, a Gatling gun? Fuck. Are you kidding me? No, I would I would like to shoot a Gatling. I would like to... You know, it was invented by a, a dentist or a doctor. I can't remember. Gatlin, that's what he was. Oh, really? I, I think he was a doctor because he was seeing in the early years of the Civil War, like all these kids that were coming in just, you know, dead or, or mutilated from these 58 caliber sized bullets. And he said, you know, the war would end quickly if you could actually just really demoralize people by being able to shoot a shit ton of them. <laughs> and so uh, that's why well, he, I, I know it worked in Vietnam. Oh wait, too soon. Well, yeah. Well, okay. Okay. I thought you were going somewhere else with that, but uh, yeah, no, um, I'm just saying it, it didn't work. But that's okay. Carpet bombing and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but no one bought. There was not one Gatling gun ever used in the Civil War uh, because uh, people didn't trust it. So, 
Well, it was why, interesting. Why, why, see, that's I, the Civil War. I mean, just, yeah, I don't know. The wars back then just cracked me up. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like everything. You know, you go with what's dependable, you know, what's proven. You know, that's the reason. Always at the beginning of every war, it's always you the old technology, and then it slowly progresses forward. You, you know? think they would have bought, someone would have bought one? No. Uh, I think the guy told us that one guy, I think, bought them privately. Like one general did, bought two of them. But I don't think they were ever used, though, in actual combat. Did Lincoln ban them because he didn't want them being brought to theaters? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was great. And then, uh, you know, then after that, we progressed over to Yellowstone and uh, down in Jackson Hole. And the highlight of the trip, actually, though, was um, I took this one photograph uh, uh, in uh, Jackson Hole. That was a pretty good photo, you know. And uh, there's this one guy that doesn't get on social media. He doesn't care about social media. He doesn't wish you happy birthday or anything. And he actually liked my photograph and he liked it so much. He actually made a comment saying how much he liked it. And it was just like the greatest day of my life. You know, this oh, guy, shit. this guy who has zero emotion, you know, someone's account got hacked. Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah. No way. No way. No way. Yeah, it sounds like fun. I, I I would like to go to Wyoming and all those places. Yeah. Wyoming's great. I mean, it's because there's no one lives there. <laughs> it's just it's a wide open state, you know. But uh, right. Yeah, I I it's my second time in Cody. I really like that little town. It's only about nine thousand people, and it's it's very much like an old west town. And the hotel that we stayed in was the Irma Hotel, which was uh, Buffalo Bill Cody's daughter. Oh, um, really? And so when you stay in this hotel, it's very much early nineteenth. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> uh, uh, it's very you know, early 19th, I mean, 20th century uh, style. I mean, it has the, I almost sent you guys a picture because uh, I the toilet was the old chain uh, type toilet. They have one of those in San Diego. We stayed at, at Comic-Con. That's right. Yeah, they do. I forget. <laughs> um, and I almost sent you uh, like a photo of going like, oh, the gun's on the backside of the toilet. <laughs> you know, but... Did we lose everybody in the chat from the ghost stories? I think so. I think so. We, we really terrified them. Um, no one's going to sleep they're... tonight. Well, if anyone's terrified, it's Chris right now. You know. I, I didn't realize that it, would, that it would freak him out that bad. But it, it, it's it, it, it's it's an interesting story that you're, you were saying. I, I'm I'm totally earnest about all of it. I mean, like the some of the things that that had happened, um, and you know, at the time, you know, I tried to talk to my wife about it. She didn't want to hear anything about it. I mean, she was like, "Nope, uh, uh-uh. uh." So nope. she she's afraid of ghosts, or she doesn't want. She was just like, no, I don't want to hear anything about that. Don't, no, stop that. Like, um, and I was like, okay, well, this is really weird. You know, like this, like, I know, I know what happened and it's like, but anyway, um, I didn't think I would tell that story tonight. In fact, I thought I'd talked about it at some point, but you know, maybe, maybe it was just. To no, I don't us. remember that. I, I would have remembered okay. that. Well, I know Jack. You and I have talked about the ghost at your house, so you know I didn't know if I'd shared that. So yeah, I think you might have, but I don't. I don't remember. I would remember those stories. Um, I would remember the dead people in the backyard. I, I would have remembered that. Now, is there well, anyone? I, dead? Is it? What is it? Cause your house was built when nineteen twenty. Yeah, mm-hmm. people still buried relatives in their backyard, but back then, I I think our house was actually part of that plot of land. Um, and that it was actually probably sold off at some point because, you know, just as, as houses went in around. Now, the one great thing about our house was that when it was put in, there was a flood here in Franklin in like, um, like 1919 or 19, I think it was like 1919 or 1918. It was like something around there. So when they built ours, they actually, our basement sits higher than anybody else around us. Um, so, um. So when it, we had another flood that came through in 2008, our house did not flood. So, um, so the bodies just could still be there; it wouldn't have floated away. <laughs> They're probably. You see, all, you, you, you see that all the time when there's a hurricane or there's oh, yeah. flooding. Oh, yeah. They go through a cemetery. The, the you know the coffins float away, and we know back 1850 they didn't have nice coffins. They were just like you know, yeah, they were wood. Yeah, just yeah. There was one. There was. I bet bet you open up one of them that's got like scratch marks on the top. (laughs) Well, you know they used to put bells on them for that reason. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was doing a. Just playing, man. 
I was doing an archaeological dig once in South Nashville, and we were doing the, the ground penetrating radar. And you're right, like this was an old, old cemetery from like the 1840s, 1850s to like 1890s. And there was one when we were passing over that the it was actually a, a, a cast iron uh, coffin. And we were like, what the? Because you know, the amount of money it would have cost to, to do that was insane at the time. Wait, we, we just found that really interesting. So you were digging in, in Tennessee, you were digging in cemeteries. We weren't digging. So like most of archaeology is pre-construction or just you're trying to find something. And in this particular cemetery, uh, they had thought that a certain segment of the cemetery was a mass burial from the Civil War. And they were trying to confirm if that was true or not. Right. And so that's what we were doing. We were just out there surveying. And so we had to go over like the existing part of some of the cemetery as well as like this spot that they thought it was. And it was, it was, it was a mass burial site. Uh, but really? like, this one spot though, that we went over though, we, you know, you could see roughly, it was interesting because you could see like the headstone and then you know, land naturally shifts over time. So you'd see the headstone, but then the grave would actually be like two or three feet diagonal in one direction or the other from where they, oh god uh, that's, a, that's a karen mask right yeah. Uh, yeah sorry i didn't mean to interrupt your your story nick with my visuals go ahead yeah but you know but it was it was just but it was neat because like all of a sudden you see this really weird anomaly in the ground you're like what the hell is that you know and then like so we did like a little uh rod test you know when we went down there and like a little what saying, what was that yeah, a little rod test the rod you know? <laughs> yeah the rod test Let's, uh, how does that rod test work? <laughs> All right, showed you twice, not showing you again. What, I just learned something. Do you count how many poles on that, or like, is it a, is it a, like, I don't know. John, I mean, I'm just, it was just a John, probe. You, it was a probe. Yeah, we, we probed <laughs> it. Even better. Well, John, the UPS guy said that's why they call it graveyard shift. I did not know. So that. He, he also said earlier, um, "Saved by the Bell," and yeah, I had to oh. Google it. That's the fucking etymology or the or origin story of Saved by the Bell. Mm-hmm. Is the bells that were attached to the coffins? I had really, no that's how they that's how they got wow. the title. Yeah, I and figured so it was Saved by I, the I, Bell I, was because I, you know, like knockout or the the bell rings its class because it was you know set the updated in the, version. Yeah, huh. yeah, no, I like I like this. So the um, the show Saved by the Bell is actually kind of like Lost. They're actually like all dead. You can't wait for the next time you're in your house and a random bell rings on your your mantle. It's not a fucking angel. <laughs> you're gonna hear bell rings now. You don't even fucking own any bells, probably, right? Daddy, that's or... when a, an angel gets his wings. Oh, wow. See, now, now we're now we're in Matt's head. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of any. Uh... You're gonna hear a bell, and it's gonna freak you the fuck out. Actually, don't, you know, don't we, plan that seed, okay? We can all call them at three in the morning with bell sounds. <laughs> I'm glad I have the do not disturb on my phone because you guys would totally do that. Like, so, I would not do that. I've already started searching for the sound. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it, it was, yeah, I mean, not to, we're kind of a, it's kind of a morbid podcast. But, yeah, uh, it's, it's good though. Yeah, I, one, the, the, the most interesting thing though in that cemetery it was, um, there was a, a young girl that died when she was like eight, and yeah. on the top, on the top, it wasn't like a typical tombstone. It was like a little, uh, what do you want to call it? Like a little structure that was above it, right? And it had a spot uh, that was flat with a uh, like a permanent candlestick uh, holder there, and uh, somebody in the that oversaw the uh, graveyard told us that that girl girl died. Of course, she was so little; she was afraid of the dark. So her father, all the oh. way till all the way till he died, would have a candle there and light it every night, oh, so wow. she wouldn't have to sleep in the dark. That's so sad. That's a, yeah, it's sad and it's, it's touching. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. It's one of those like, wow, because like you just don't see people do that anymore, you know, or something. You know, we're just kind of boring now. It's just the typical tombstones. But it's like, what, what year was she? All, what year did she die? I mean, that was 2008 when I was there. I don't really remember, but it was, I mean, it's, 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 like I said, it's an old cemetery. So this is all usually before the 19, before 1900. I mean, these were all old. So. No, but the, oh, she died in, in like 1900. She, she probably died like in the 1890s or something like that. Wow. Hmm. It's, Cause you don't think of parents being that, you know, caring about their kids back. I mean, you know, they had so many of them that. 
Well, this is this I'm is serious. A lot of yeah, but this is the, this is the East Coast, Coast, you know. Yeah, in the West Coast, yes, but like in the, this is the East Coast, you know. Still, it's you know, we kind of gotten over that at that point, you know. Uh, okay. that, that that is a touching story. It's nice, and nobody picked. No, no family members picked up on it. They just said, "Screw the kid." <laughs> yeah, they, they, didn't, they didn't know her. So Your dad's kind of. <laughs> but the dad didn't say, "Hey, you know, if I happen to die, here's some money for some candles." No. So every, so every day he'd go put a candle on there and light it. Yeah. Now, do you know of any told me, you know, know. of any loved ones that were kind of on their deathbed and and saw saw others from the other side? Like I had a I had a great grandmother who her son, which would have been my my step grandfather, um, he had already passed, and so when she was kind of close, like she saw him you know, like, like waiting there, you know? And so it's like, we kind of knew that it was time. Cause she was like, you know, saying that she was seeing other people, you yeah. know? So I know she my daughter for a long time. Like, uh, like she, I, I'm, she lived, she was in her nineties. Nobody knew her actual age. Cause she would never say, you know, but, um, and once you get to a certain part in that, like bragging rights, you know, it's like, yeah, right. Fuck it, I'm, I'm 90 fucking eight. I still look good because I'm seventy. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Like, like, what are you? What are you lying for? Like, I mean, was she an well, escort? Yeah. <laughs> what you know, she... I've seen seventy. You're hey, not baby. 70. hey, baby, come on with me. I know it won't break. <laughs> don't, 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 be, don't besmirch, Mammy. Okay, like she she was a kind soul, so. Just lied about her age. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and lied about her age. Yeah. I know my daughter, who's who's granddaughter. It's, it's her child. When my uncle died, it was he was her godfather. She had a dream about him, like that night, and he died. And she like said she had a dream about him that night, about him coming him coming to visit. Oh wow! So when she died, so and then my mom had some her when her mom died. Her mom sat at the end, she said she sat at the end of the bed and she didn't know her mom had died and said everything's gonna be okay. So I'm sorry to <laughs> with my comment, but um, Miami Mike in the chat says I saw the ghost of Tom Brady and Gronk this Gronk sorry, this weekend on my TV. So um, oh my God. there you go. So yeah, I, I think I think people do see things. It's, it's like I said, I've seen things here and, and like I said, everyone but Jay doesn't believe it because he never it's saw so it. It's so weird too because he's like the Ghostbuster guy. But. Yeah, and he, and he goes, I believe in ghosts. I go, then why are you arguing with all of this? Even my son in law saw someone walking up the stairs. He goes, hey, hey, hey. And he, I go, who are you would, talking to? It wouldn't be Jay. If he did. Stairs, I go, it's just me and you. <laughs> he goes, what? He goes, well, I just saw someone walk up the stairs. I go, well, go check. <laughs> I'd walk out Jack, the door. Jack, I have had the. <laughs> that, or is that just me? I think, I think that was Chris. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, oh, Chris. Actually, that's actually Chris's comment. Shit, I should take that off of there. <laughs> I wonder how many bells uh, we could have to to Matt's house. Little, little Chrissy Skypeck on the chat says, <laughs> "Everyone listening, go to Amazon and send Matt a bell." Oh, there you go. There's uh, a. There's, so, in truth, truth be told, I, I put that in there like five minutes ago. And I'm like, how come no one's laughing at that? That's fucking gold. <laughs> and I realized it filters it, it filters out comments that have URLs. In them. Uh, I was like, oh, shit. I put the jayjack.com slash Amazon link on there. <laughs> really? Yep. Um, there, there was a, there's a house in San Jose, California. Um, and uh, this is this woman that was married into the Winchester family. And... Uh, it's always guns with you. Well, I mean, it was just, it, it's an interesting house because she was told by somebody like a psychic, a, psych, a psychic, you know, that she would never know peace because of all the death and blood that's on her family's hands, even though she married into the family. And so what she did is someone else told her that <laughs> ghosts get confused. And so she built her house like a maze. So there's all these rooms and uh, hallways that go to nowhere and stairwells that go to like to the ceiling and all these weird things. But Oh yeah. 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 I've heard of the Winchester house. Yeah. That's what yeah. we got. Yeah. I'm not sure. Not, not related to from mash as I was sharing there. So, 
Okay. You know. I mean, it's neat. It's worth a tour, but like, you know, it's kind of, oh, okay. Yeah, Winchester, yes. Yeah. Uh, I went and saw it. Is it in Massachusetts? No, it's in San Jose, California. Oh, that's right. You did say San Jose because Winchester, Winchester is in Massachusetts. Is, it's from Massachusetts. No. The town no, of she, she, I think she did. Live, she moved out there, though, to get away after her husband's death. Well, why, would, then, why would she be punished if she married into the family? I mean, it's I, like, she was just, you know, was, who knows? It was the 1800s, man. They believed all kinds of weird shit. They let you bury people in the backyard. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and not tell the people who buy the house from you. Yeah, Four they, thought, generations they thought slavery was morally okay. So you know, well, I mean, you you said, hey, it's in, it's in the Bible. You, it's in the as Bible. You, as long as you went to God and say, "Hey, forgive me," it's all gay, right? I think it's mm-hmm. okay. Well, we right. have a we have a gas station just down the street here that has. I was filling up gas one day, and I, I've been to this gas station like for a year. I go, what the fuck is that? It was Tombstones. I go, the really? Pizza? You could, yeah, Tombstone Pizza. <laughs> I do they still have Tombstone Pizza? Oh yeah. yeah, do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Anyway, so, so it had like an iron fence around it. Dying. And like right. it's like five or six uh, tombstones. I'm like going, why the fuck would you not move these people? They got to look at a gas station for the rest of the for eternity. I mean, a gas station. I don't know. I, I think I would just want something better. Am I asking too much? Maybe. Does, does it matter? Maybe I can be buried in Matt's backyard. Uh no. No. As long as Matt doesn't come over, and it's all filled up. It's all filled up. <laughs> it's all no filled up. More room. Have you have you had any thought about having someone uh, like you know like us? Well, this Nick would know because they have the equipment where you can see if they're, what's under the ground. Have you thought Look, about it's doing? It's not that? my property, so you know me going around. No, your backyard. Your backyard. Oh, my backyard's fine. I so. think I think that's part two of our. I know, uh, I know still in nineteen twenty. Yeah. This was after that lady, that's, you know, that's, that's, for well, family. So. Was, the oh, house okay. was built in nineteen twenty, but the lot was there. It probably, you said they shared the lot, so it was one lot. You probably got dead bodies in your this backyard. This is a massive graveyard. I've I've dug around my yard. I'm good. How so. have you dug six feet down? I've dug pretty far because I've planted some trees. So doing my part. Yeah. You don't need to do. You don't need to do six feet though. Trees. I also cut down a tree this weekend too. So. So you're exactly. killing the environment. Tip, tip so that'd be part of the. Netflix. I planted three, but I I chopped down one. So. So a Netflix special, episode two, Matt's backyard. And there's this weird, like you know how every like um, mystery Netflix special has like these weird rabbit holes they go down they have nothing to do with the regular story like episode four or five we're going to take a like a jaunt out for like these 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 displaced squirrels in another part of the state <laughs> and you're like what the fuck does this have to do with the ghosts and then we realized it was, it, was, it was just a complete filler episode that has nothing to do with the actual ghost story <laughs> what happened to the squirrels Dude, I got, this, is, this is like a 12 this is like a 12 episode arc i, I, I like it i like it I this like would be it. great yeah but unfortunately, it's not a twelve episode night. Am I right? We we didn't even get a chance to get Owen and Bruce on this, right? Like, yeah, no. Right? We've got actually a lot to talk about. Actually, the white yeah. crayon, the white crayon of the Jane Jack podcasting. Network. I feel like we need to actually. Have <laughs> hey man, it's gotta Owen find someone who digs black paper. That's all. <laughs> No, it doesn't even work on black paper. By, by by the way, there was a there was so both the the Mandalorian trailer, which we can talk about just briefly, like season two dropped. No, you don't want to. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you can see me. I forgot. <laughs> no, okay, fine. We'll just we'll just I, do I, our I, own I, I, podcast. I thought, you, I, thought you, I thought you would like it. I thought you. I'm you just, like I'm just fucking with you. Go ahead. Did you mean fucking Ren, dude? Maybe we'll see. Maybe. Maybe. Randy Maybe. points out we uh, need to uh, talk about the verses uh, from a couple weeks oh, ago. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, yeah. we got, oh, man, we got so much Oh, stuff I got to go that. fucking do that. Fucking bullshit. And, and we have an email. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, and I've got all kinds of stuff that? to review. I've seen all kinds of shows and I, I, I watched the first episode of The Boys. All right, all right. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's what we do. I know I know. Chris has got to go. So, Itch. I got some time. Itch. So why don't, uh, like, here, we'll, we'll do this. Jack? Um, you look I'm, looking, full results. I'm looking for it right now. I'll read this email and uh, eventually we'll, we, you know, Nick and Jack, if you're willing, we'll, we'll roll this into a bonus. Sure. Episode. We can talk about TV shows. How's that? Does that work? That's good. I, I feel like I, I'm I cheating. A lot of ghost TV shows. I've almost finished Clone Wars. 
That's true. You say we got all kinds of stuff to talk about. Uh, and and did you did you see the the squadrons uh, trailer that dropped today? Yeah. No. The one C three PO. This is right up your alley, Chris. It's a video game and everything. Oh no, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. It's like a nine minute like video. I almost uh, do. PS five price and date dropped today though. Why did people Xboxes post boxes crap on pre- our pre order dates as well? Oh, a lot of shit happened. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I, I guess this is why I didn't see this this email. It uh, the email starts off, I miss Nick and Chris. No, with a question mark. Exactly. I actually oh. was not a fan of this email. I mean, it was oh. well intentioned. Oh, is but, that sarcasm? Uh, yeah. Well, fuck okay, you, just... Advance. I even heard it yet. <laughs> Hi guys. That? Hi guys. I just wanted to say that. Although I missed hearing Nick and Chris on this week's show, I really enjoyed listening to Jay again and particularly was entertained with all of Matt's rambling. Well, apparently, I talked a lot last <laughs> week. Sorry, guys. You, you wouldn't <laughs> shut up. Jack, funny as always, definitely uh, don't stop complaining about selfish people who refuse to wear masks. Here in Belgium, pretty much people have oh. embraced mask fashion and accepted that they are uh, they are part of our lives for the fu- foreseeable future. Good. Anyway, it, it, it's keep up be, the good work. It is a treat to hear you every Thursday morning. Oh, uh, so, that is my favorite email in some time. I, I, I retract the fuck you. That wasn't necessarily. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't bad. so bad. That was, that was a good email. I'm just saying. It's, it's really nice. Pro pro masks. Is she that was, it? No, she's yeah. pro. She's pro yeah. Matt. Not masks, oh. Matt. Well, she just <laughs> she liked the mix up, you know. You know, we threw some love my yeah. way. I'm, it, I'm happy with that. And she liked Jay. I, I, started like last, Jay. I, la- I started last week's show just like with no host, and then and then Jay jumped on, and then and then Jack appeared. Yeah, so. I was la- I was late, and I didn't know you guys had started when I came on. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Baby so. spice. Nobody wants a baby spice reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready uh, for the verses? Let's hear the results there. All right, this is only three because uh, Nick. Oh, let's ask Nick. Okay. The choice were Top Gun. Oh, yeah, I, I, vote, I voted though on that one because I wasn't part of it, but I did vote. I voted for Caddyshack. Caddyshack. Okay. Um, well, we had Footloose. I you can tell which I, I picked Footloose because I was third on the dice roll. Okay, so you can tell who uh, the order was. So I got Footloose, Hands Across America, twenty votes. So it came down to Danger Zone, Top Gun, and. I'm all right from Caddyshack. And at one point it was tied and it was a oh. tight vote each way. Um, but I'm all right. Got 56 votes. Mm-hmm. Danger zone got 60 and guess who voted for danger zone? J. So that just proves oh. it. it was a J pick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a winner. Was, but I mean, I'm going to make your arm for Matt. I guess Matt's pick, which is the Caddyshack. I'm all right. Cause if there's any of, the, of those three songs I'm going to listen to, if it just comes random on the radio, it's going to be that one because that's like just a good song. Whereas in like, you know, the Footloose song is very much tied to the movie and just Kevin Bacon doing the gotta cut, gotta cut in it, you know, and then I, I didn't have a choice. Yeah. You know, and then Danger Zone. Because eh, he says really, Danger Zone. He says Danger Zone too many times, right? No, he says, he says I'm all right. I'm I'm do the danger Zone. But, you know. <laughs> I don't think it's uh, how many times he says that, it's how you feel listening to it. You know, Danger Zone is like you're on cocaine, flying yeah. down the highway, 90 miles an hour, like driving recklessly, weaving in and out of traffic. Cops are following you. I am Danger Ice. <laughs> Man. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what's crazy about Top Gun is that. Maverick is actually a maverick in that film. He's not the good guy. Iceman is the good guy in that film. But yet somehow they romanticize the crazy person, which is Tom Cruise in that film. Well, because he's because in Eddie, every Tom Cruise movie, he has it's a story daddy. of Tom Cruise's life. Am I right? <laughs> For real. You're is fucking have- messing with my mind right now. I never <laughs> thought of it that way. <laughs> he is he's the he's the bad guy. He, my he childhood goes, is fucking ruined. It's true. He's he's like, 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 we're gonna bust the tower. No, no, Matt. No, no, Matt. Don't don't worry, Matt. Matt. And then it, even you hear like Iceman, like God you're dangerous. Man. You're gonna get people killed. And even at the end of the film, he still goes to you know the guy. He's like, hey, concerning Maverick. And they're like, I hear your complaints. Just deal with it. And you're like, what the fuck, man? Like he he's fucking crazy. 
you know, he does save his one, life. The one, but thing still. Could, the one thing that could hold his humanity, the one thing that like means something to him is Goose. And what does he do? He kills him. Goose. I don't want to think about the fact that I killed you or that I'm responsible <laughs> he, for your death. He he goes away. To be fair, he wanted Goose's wife. He wanted young man. <laughs> oh, Mayweather. yeah, we all did. Yeah, so I think that happened. Uh, but it, was it Viper, the one that said, you know, well, if no one will fly with you, I will. Please, someone else fly with him. Please, please. Tom Skerritt. Get yeah. that part out. It was Viper, right? <laughs> yeah, Viper is his call sign. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, yeah, it was, it was a great movie, but what? Okay, why? Why was Goose oh, the only one wearing a shirt in the volleyball scene? We all know why. No, he looks look, nothing he, okay. like the team. Exactly. Well, okay. <laughs> you, got, you got three. You got three ripped guys, and you, you're sound of, of us. All of us four. You got those guys playing volleyball, and you got your dad bod happening. Going, like, I ain't yeah. taking this shit off. Like. <laughs> Yeah. I'd be like, can, I, can I please keep my shirt on? That'd be written out of this scene. You know? I'm wearing this swim shirt so I don't get a sunburn, well, guys. In Fast Times at Richmond High, he takes off his shirt. It's a UV protecting shirt. So, there's a long history of melanoma in my family. Uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> I like How come Tom Cruise has to check his watch like this? <laughs> Last week I had a horrible sunburn, and I just you know. Just, uh... <laughs> well, I don't. I don't want to keep Mr. Chris any any longer, Mister. Mister, that's my, uh, that's my Val Kimmer impression. Before we go, that. Chris, uh, do you guys have HBO Max? I do. I do. I stole it from Jay. The the uh, Ridley Scott show. Um, Raised by Wolves. Check it out. Okay. It's different. Well, got, it's very, very Ridley Scott. Wars, and I got to watch The Good, Bad, and the Ugly. That's my, my goal. Nice. Yes. Finish, finish The Clone Wars because I would I would really like to uh, uh, do a Owen and Bruce. Yeah, Clone Wars and go watch Good, the Bad, the Ugly. We talk about it next week. I can probably accomplish both feats this week. Wow. Oh. Yeah. yeah. How long did it take you to finish uh, Das Boot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the, the timer starts now. <laughs> so long he didn't believe us. Right? Everybody, I want you to mail Chris a copy of The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly until he watches it. Um, well, uh, so is, is that okay if we uh, do a bonus check, Nick? You, you got good cool. with that? Found me. Yeah, we could probably talk about it again next week, too, because I know the, the bonuses are just for the patrons, but if you, if you become a patron and uh, check out some of the bonus uh, episodes. I, I don't mind talking a little bit more TV, so... Um, well, next week we should do uh, uh, where we do, we talk about, uh, we play Top Gun and we talk about it, like Mystery Science Theater. We keep talking oh, about doing like these movies, but we never do. How how would that work, though? Like, just logistically. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that after, after, uh, after the. Well, can we one, one of the hardest, one of the hardest NES games ever. I can never land the damn thing on the aircraft carrier. That's <laughs> the first level. <laughs> so you're a goose. No, you're. Yeah. Who's, the guy that wa- who's the guy that washes out in the beginning? Oh, that's uh, Merlin. Get- Merlin. Merlin. No, not Merlin. Merlin is um, no, no. Merlin's Tim Robbins. That's right. You got to do. Uh, that's his big line. Fuck, I forget. I got a, I got a oh. wife, man. I have my Come kid. Back, I have to see my kid again. I'm so scared. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, last week, we discovered one thing that when the other hosts aren't here, Jack actually lets me finish out the show. It was it was kind of weird. It was like, huh. So it was kind of fucking amazing. I didn't have anything I mean, to say. God, what, what a weakling. I lost, so I lost weird. a little respect for you, Jack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Actually, I think at that point I'd fallen asleep because it was Jay and Matt. God, if God. if you enjoyed the show, uh, feel free oh to God, rate and review it. Wrap it up. Uh, I'd love, love, love for you to do that. Thank you, Lillian, for, for the email. You can send us an email at rcadcast at gmail.com. Okay, do you guys know Micro Machines are back? I don't know, Lillian, <laughs> if I can really... Um, <laughs> Put up with these guys any longer, so you know it might just be the three of them. Um, and I don't know if I can actually mail you something in Belgium. Uh, that would be a little. Why they don't have postal service? So, 
You know, I, I just don't know how much it would cost, but you know, I would lo- love to send you a postcard. Though, Probably so a buck. Feel free to email us uh, your your address if you'd like to. Uh, thanks again for everyone that joined us in the chat. It's always so much fun. Um, and if wh- where would we be without Randy uh, or Kim or John the UPS guy or Will or you know, I feel like half the reason I, I show up for this is for Sherry. So um, Miami Mike, thanks for joining us again, um, Ethan. Uh, as well as Matthew Triest. Um, did I forget anybody? I hope Chris I did. Skypec. Chris Doran. Uh, and Nicholas Dunn was in there. Well. <laughs> I hate that guy. Me. Anyway, uh, thanks yeah, thank me. everyone for joining us live. I, I can the, uh, to the chat. If you want to buy me a bell, go to jandjack.com slash Amazon. Um, yes. Pick out the nicest bell. I will not put it around the Elzer's neck. That is not happening. Um <laughs> I would I would have this like sonar around his neck. I don't trust if him. you if you want to become a patron or help us out uh, at uh, any level, go over to the uh, janjack dot com uh, website. Section. There, there's a there's a patron link there, um, and you can become a patron and uh, get the bonus episode where we talk about other shit for another half hour or so. And can I ask, can I ask a question, yeah, before we go. How, what's it called when we want is a is it GoFundMe when we want to start a uh, yeah we want to start that Netflix special yeah oh oh right yeah you want to do the investigate the freaky fucking Franklin. <laughs> yeah, yeah so send me the once, once you send me information Franklin is the fucking name of the Netflix nice. show Franklin? Nice. Free, fuck, 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 uh, freaky Franklin yeah like freaky Franklin. Franklin. yeah they, they don't Franklin. have legs there. Yeah, I like it. And episode, episode five is the squirrel episode, right? Sure. <laughs> the squirrels that just the haunted, the haunted squirrels. It's the filler episode. They're, they're, all, red-eyed. they're, they're all red-eyed. They're all red-eyed squirrels. There are a few people that make this. Few patrons that uh, rise above and beyond. And helping a patron uh, fund our our uh, fund Netflix the film. Bet. Hashtag fund the film. Fund the film. Yeah. <laughs> And let's get to those patrons. I did make them Jaws themed. Uh, if you didn't see the graphic at the beginning, uh, it was another great one by Ethan. Uh, thank you so much for sending those in. You've been dynamite on those, and you have helped me out quite quite a bit. So, oh man, there's just lots of bells happening. How come, how come everyone's helping you out when you're doing less now? I I know, right? I'm doing more, and nobody's helping me out. Uh. So, uh, with that Jaws theme, even though we didn't talk about Jaws, here you go. Here are your names for the week. <laughs> a, a tack from the water. Get it? Oh, I like, I it. like that yeah. one. Yeah. I like, yeah. 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 Wait, tack from can you, water. you better just stop right there. I probably should, but it's going to get worse. Eckhart Richter Riptide. Ed, we're going to need a bigger podcast. Get yeah. out of the water, Maggie. Don't open the beaches, Joanne. And Chief Greg Brody, thank you for doing what you do. Uh, thanks for making this show possible. Can I say something? Yeah. That was your best ever. And I mean, that was great. I mean, it, it was one of those things that it was like at first, it was like, uh, ooh, ooh, good one. Yeah. You got, yeah. You're always waiting through. for the one that I fuck up or I make some sexual innuendo that I don't even know that I made. So. You still got yeah. about 15 seconds. Unless, he doesn't I'm know not, he does that. Unless, he doesn't know he's done the sexual unless you, you read the private chat. The best is when you is, is when you drop you drop the innuendo. Don't realize until after you stop recording, and then we just shit on you for fifteen minutes longer. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys think that the show stops after we record? But no, it just no. keeps on going. So, no, I love these guys. So, it's it's great. I look forward to this. So, uh, all right, gentlemen, uh, and everyone that joined us, thanks again. This was a great show. It was, it was one in uh, a specter. One a million. Oh, I like. <laughs>